I never heard Hazel tell those stories before. Those are pretty good stories. I'll remember never to pick up a snake. Well, I just want to share with you something that happened uh, this winter. I was uh, going to my First Nations reserve called Ocean Map First Nations. Anybody hear of that? Ocean Map? Yeah, well, I was headed there with my daughter Stephanie. And we decided we were going to take a back road by Fillmore. There's a gravel road and it takes us right to Stoughton there. And then we can go on to Ocean Man First Nations. So anyway, we're driving along in our car and we're going. And all of a sudden, this rabbit comes hopping by. Excuse me for a second. Boys and girls, can you sit still and come a little closer, okay? Thank you. All right. Anyway, so we're driving along, along the uh, country road, and this rabbit comes hopping by. And I hit it with my car. And I didn't think too much about of it, because there's lots of rabbits, right? <laughs> and we're driving along, and my daughter Stephanie, she looks at me and she says, Mom, you just hit a rabbit! We gotta go and check and make sure that it's okay! And I said, there's lots of rabbits, Stephanie. Don't worry about it. It's fine. There's lots. She says, no, Mom. You hit that rabbit, and if that rabbit is lying in the ditch and suffering, we got to put it out of its misery. I said, I'm sure the rabbit's fine. And she says, Mom, you hit that rabbit. you got to turn this car right around right now, and we got to go check that rabbit out. And we probably gone maybe about two kilometers or so. And I said, Stephanie, no, there's lots of rabbits. I'm sure one rabbit isn't going to ruin the rabbit population in Saskatchewan. And she says, Mom, Creator sees all. And Creator see you hit one of his creatures. And then I went, oh, well, see you put it that way. <laughs> and I stopped the car, and we were about two kilometers from where I hit the rabbit. So I started driving backwards, because we were just on a dirt road. There wasn't a whole lot of traffic or anything. And so I started driving backwards until we got to where the rabbit was. And I see the rabbit. And I said, oh, there it is. And then she says, now go get out and check it. And I says, no, you get out and check it. She goes, no, you hit it, you check it. And I said, well, no, I, you go check it. And she says, mom, you hit the rabbit, you go check it. And I can smell something really stinky. Really, really stinky. Now, I have a very, very sensitive nose, okay? And, like, fragrances and things like that can give me a headache. And when I was a kid, I used to, like, if I didn't like the way a plate smelled, I wasn't going to eat from it. Things like that. So I could smell something really stinky. And I thought, hmm, did I hit a skunk rabbit or something? <laughs> it really, really stunk. And so I said, Stephanie, I can't go out there. It stinks. She says, just open the door, Mom, and go check the rabbit. So I opened the door, and it really stunk when I opened the door, and I closed it again. I says, I can't, Stephanie. It stinks. And I was like, ooh, look, it really stinks. And so he goes, hold on here, Mom. And she reaches in the back, and she has this great big purse, like I have a great big purse, and she digs around in there, and she pulls out this little tiny can, and she hands it to me. She goes, just spray that around and go check the rabbit. So I spray it the car a little bit, not, not too bad. So I'm spraying it as I'm getting out of the car and I spray the rabbit. All of a sudden, the rabbit springs right up, hops across the road, over the ditch and stops and looks at me, stands up on its hind legs and does this. And I kind of looked and I thought, hmm, that rabbit waving at me. <laughs> and then it jumped down and it hopped about 10 more feet and it stopped again in the field, and it stood up on its hind legs, and it went like this again. So I look at Stephanie in the car, and she's looking. I slowly walk back to the car, and I'm looking at the rabbit. It's just standing there doing this. So I get in the car, and I says, I don't know, Stephanie, but does it look like that rabbit over there is waving at us? She says, yeah, Mom, it does. So I look at the can that she gave me. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Rejuvenating hairspray. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but 
me to tell you another story now about a rabbit. And we just, uh, we're in the month of February, right? And this is the month of love, is it not? We just had Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. Well, I am going to tell you the story about how the rabbit got narrow shoulders. Okay? And this story is for the boys. So, Bracken, you better listen up good here. Mm -hmm. This is for the boys' the story. And for some of you men back there, there's a good lesson in this story for you. All right. Well, all stories about Wasaki Chap starts off with Wasaki Chap was walking along. Well, Wasaki Chap was walking along when he noticed Rabbit way out in the field. And Rabbit was doing this. Come 
visit me at the same time. And both of them would hug me and squeeze me and hug me some more and squeeze me tight and go, mm -hmm. oh, I just love the attention of both of my girlfriends. Oh, I liked it when that one from over there come visit and hug me and squeeze me and go, mm -hmm. Up with tiny shoulders and little arms. Mm -hmm. 